Howdy there, folks! How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to another episode of our Stone Block 2 Let's Play Adventure, where today I have finished my lava... Would you call it a border? I almost called it a wall, but it's only like three-sevenths of a wall right now. It looks good, though. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I was worried that maybe because it is one large tank, uh, adding lava to this large of a tank would cause some sort of issues, uh, possibly slow down or even a crash. No issues yet. This up here, these are just tanks that I filled up on the side and put up there once they were filled. It's not connected to the, the system as a whole, which I haven't touched yet. I talked about maybe adding some more crucibles, but haven't done that yet. I don't think I need to. I'm considering extending the tank into here and making the entire roof a tank, but also I'm considering not doing that. Because that's a bit ridiculous. I've been doing a lot with chickens. We're not going to touch on chickens today. I think a lot of folks are probably sick of chickens. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at storage and continuing. I mean, we talked about this in the last half episode, if you didn't watch it. But we're going to be continuing through here and getting some storage things out of the way. I want to start by wrapping up this black hole situation. Black hole tank stores a huge amount of fluid. And the black hole controller stores... A bunch of black hole units, I believe. I think nine. In fact, if we click on it, it'll tell you. It can hold nine black hole units and access its items. So we're going to be building one of those because I think it'll be very useful for something that I have in mind later. We're also going to be using some basic storage drawers today. Now, I don't need these things. I'm pretty content with what we're using at the moment, which is our barrels. And in fact, I learned a lot about barrels between the last couple of episodes, like the fact that you can use the hammer to change the appearance of the barrels. And, again, I learned this before I edited the episode about the barrel, so I can go back and add that information. But uh, if you hold down shift and you right-click, you can choose the type of barrel you want. So we have the basic barrel. What I'm using is the block with window. You can do it with a border. I didn't mean to pause there. Walk over here. Pop. Boom. You can change the entire appearance of it, which is really cool. I keep pausing by mistake. Uh, that's really cool. I really like that. That's a great thing that you can do. I just simplified it. I got rid of the borders and I made them square. It's easier to tell what's inside of them now without all the extra bits around. Uh, I'm still breeding chickens like crazy, by the way, which is why my inventory is full of seeds and chickens. Today, though, we're going to at least experiment with these things. They're quests that have to be completed if we want to 100% the pack, so we might as well go ahead and do them. We might even be touching on storage crates. Let's start over here, though, with the black hole controller. And uh, if we just type that in, black hole, I can't imagine there would be a whole lot of things. Oh, look at this. Oh, of course, we have the, the rings. I completely forgot that we had the rings. Can we get Swift Wolf's Rending Gale? Swift Wolf. I mean, we can't because we don't have the ability to make Dark Matter yet. Or can we? Wait, no, yeah, we can. Because Dark Matter is just, what is this, a block of diamond surrounded by Eternal's Fuel. Okay, so all we need is the Philosopher's Stone. Which is just requires that we go... Okay, I've got everything we need except for Dragon's Breath. We might do this in the next episode. I might completely derail all of my plans so that I can get Swift Wolf's Rending Gale, which is probably one of the best methods of flying in any mod pack ever. Uh, it's spectacular. It's just like creative flying. I love it. The dragon's Breath? I don't think we even have a dragon. Perhaps it's that chicken we have to fight. None of this is related to what we're doing today, though, which is taking a look at the Black Hole Tal- No! No! Focus! Black hole tank, black hole controller. These recipes, much like the black hole unit, require plastic. I talked about this last episode. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to get it. I, I got a guide once, I believe from Germ Silver. I keep saying that. I'm pretty sure it was him. Who showed me how to extract fluids, I think, out of a tree to get rubber. Maybe it was a latex processing unit or something along those lines. The way I'm going to do it today, the way I kind of recommend you do it, is to just get yourself... A rubber chicken, which is a combination of an orange and a log chicken. All the recipes for that are in the pack. I discussed them last episode. I've got a stack of maxed out rubber chickens here, and I've got 12,234 plastic. So we're, we're set to roll there. We're not missing out on anything. Uh, also, the recipes are going to require a block of diamond, a simple machine chassis. We've built these before. Grains of infinity, uh, iron, iron bars, nothing too complicated there. Pink slime ingots, ender chests. Ender chest is easy. Pink slime ingot. Uh, I, I didn't even realize that that was the thing we were going to need. And I'm not even sure how to make it. Molten pink slime ingot. I'm assuming we just melt pink slime. And there you go. Then you form it into an ingot. Saying that, and, and actually getting it. Fluid side. What? So we have to somehow melt. It looks like the only way to melt it. 
molten refined pink slime. What? The black hole tank doesn't require all that madness. The black hole tank recipe is, is far more forward, in fact. Oh, you can just make a steel casing. Could you make a steel casing for this as well? Oh, yeah, look, you don't... You don't have to... Okay, that's an option. I, I didn't realize there were that many options for uh, for crafting these things. Machine frame? If you'd rather build a machine frame? Or a machine case? Oh, geez, that seems like the most basic. Uh, ugh, pink slime. I gotta figure this out. <laughs> All right, Pet Rock. I've done some reading on the internet. Something that can sometimes be a bit dangerous. And I found something called the Mob Slaughter Factory. This is used to process... Yes, this is weird. Process mobs into liquid meat and pink slime. Gross, but okay. We can build one of these. Um, it, we'll get, I, I don't know how it works, but we'll give it a try, I, I suppose. I'm not sure if you can use chickens, but I hope so, because I've got an awful lot of them. And in fact, if you just look inside of any of these chests, you'll see... We're not doing anything with these guys. So this recipe is going to require a lot of iron, really no matter how you slice it, because you're gonna to have to have all these iron tools, but because we already have so much iron, I'm gonna go with the simple machine chassis recipe, because it requires iron, grains of infinity, iron bars, we've got all those things back there already. It's gonna require a bit of gold, redstone, and again, more plastic, so it's a really good thing that I made that plastic chicken. I had made it knowing I was going to do the black hole units, but I didn't realize it would come in so handy. So let's see what else we're going to need. We're going to need those sticks. We are going to need the grains of infinity, which I stuck inside of a chest somewhere. The problem with this is a lot of these things haven't been sorted yet. So they're all just lying around in various locations. What goes into a golden ingot? Stone gear? Oh, I should say gear. So stone gear and then gold around it to make the golden gear. We're going to have to create all of those tools. Was it just, let's see, two swords and two axes. Also going to need those iron bars, and I made a lot of iron bars previously. Can you blame me, though? Considering how much iron we have, it's it's not a major loss, is it? So I think this is the recipe we're going for. Uh, there we go. We got our mob slaughter factory. I'm going to hook this thing into power back here, which is where I normally hook up machines when I, I don't know how they work. So I guess we put mobs in, and we get we get some sort of pink slime. Is there a pink slime tank? Oh, I... Hold on. Oh, I see. Do I need to hook up a tank to have it automatically? Oh boy, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work this out. Let's say that I had a prismarine shard chicken. Can I put it inside of here? <laughs> no, of course not. How does this work? Do I right click it on top of it? No, that's that's the answer to that question. Um, what is the front of the machine? I think the uh, oh. Oh yeah, hold on. Okay, so it's paused right now, so it won't run. According to the wiki page, it kills things in front of it, and I'm not sure what is the front of it. Okay, I think that is. So if I unpause it, or perhaps it's un... Okay, so now it's paused. If I unpause it, it should kill that prismarine chicken. It's not, though. It's not doing it. Stop. No, hold on. Dead gum it. I, I should have known nothing was going to be easy today. This is going to be one of those kind of days. It says it works in a one by three by one space. I don't know along which axes those those are. So we're just going to just going to drop the chicken in like right here next to the darn thing. And then we're going to unpause it. And we're going to see what happens. It, it is getting power, right? This isn't connecting visibly, but it does have stored energy. So, oh my gosh, it worked. Okay. And inside of here, we've got... A bit of pink slime, but not nearly enough. We're going to need a lot more. However, fortunately, I have access to a swath of creatures that we can use for this process. Swath is a very fun word, and I feel like it is not used enough in our society, even if I am possibly partially misusing it. Also, for those of you who feel like this might be a bit cruel, keep in mind, this is a video game, and none of these animals are real. And also, they were going to spend the rest of their lives huddled up either in here or inside of those crates. So if anything, we've given them the sweet release of death. What do I do? Just shift click. What do I need to do? do I put like a bucket right there or something? How does this work? Like that, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure a thousand millibuckets is a bucket. Last time I checked. So it should. Let's see. Always active. Show working area. Oh, 
That's how you do that. What if I broke this? Does that change the working area? It doesn't. So I guess it is... Uh, no, I don't understand it. But also, give me my... Oh, like, oh, can you just click it? Okay, so we've got our pink slime in a bucket, and with that, we can put it into a painting machine, a fluid machine, a, a fluid transposer. I need to make the pink slime ingots, though. So I've got the pink slime. Do I need to do Tinker's Construct? No, I can use a fluid scything machine. It's great that the word scything is back in our vocabulary, because now I can get a, a suite of comments from people complaining I'm saying it wrong. Pink slime? No, wait a minute. No! I have to have a pink slime to make it, but what do I- how do I get- I'm- um, What? But- but how? How to get- How? It's apparently this stuff, if we put it in the ground, will, about once every minute or so, spawn a creature called a pink slime. And upon killing it, we should get, theoretically, a blob of pink slime. I'm going to continue to do this, though, with chickens. Get another bucket worth of pink slime. And then maybe we'll be able to spawn them more quickly because we're going to need a lot of this stuff. Uh, oh, there you are. Oh, I noticed that the the slime had vanished. So now we got this guy here who dropped a couple of pink slimes. Let me finish what I'm doing over there here with the chickens. All right, so yet again, we find ourselves making a, another simple machine chassis. Just the recipe I'm going with. You can go with any of the others listed. We need a couple more gold gears. And then from there, it does look like we have everything we need to create the fluid siving sieving sieving machine i don't care how you pronounce it you're going to tell me you're going to tell me in the comments and you're going to tell me that your way is the correct way because insert grammatical reason here but i assure you if you look hard enough in the comments you will find another person doing the same thing which has led me to the conclusion that there is no proper way to pronounce siving sieving sieving machine and that everyone just sort of makes it up as they go and then declare that their way is the superior correct way, based on absolutely nothing, and then just sort of hope that it sticks, and someday the Merriam-Webster dictionary people will be like, yeah, this guy made this word up, yeah? Yeah? Ha <laughs> ha! Boom. Fluid... No, wait a minute. No? Wait, it looks... It looks exactly the same as this thing. I was really confused there for a second. I was concerned I'd actually accidentally built another mob slaughter, but we didn't. We didn't, so no worries. So uh, we'll get another bucket. And we'll get that, get that out of, no, I didn't want liquid meat. Wait, hold on, how did I do this last time? That, okay, you just have to right click it, it it's a bit funky. But if we put that in there, uh, or do we left or right click, okay, right click that in there. And then it's always active, and then what, we hit, we hit what? How, how do, how do you work? How do you create the ingot? Oh, okay, we gotta put an iron ingot in there. Is that the ticket? I guess that's the ticket. So the iron ingot goes there? N n the iron ingot goes... I feel like it goes somewhere, but I don't know where. How much fluid is used inside of this thing? 2,000! Over 300. Does that mean that it uses 300? It doesn't look like anything's happening! Am I doing something wrong? Uh, always... Always active? It's always active? It, it's taking me over to this thing? I'm... I'm good. I, I must be doing something wrong. That, that must be the problem. Maybe it needs more pink slime. Hey! That was the ticket. Okay, so I right-clicked another bucket in there. And it looks like 2,000 is indeed the amount you need for the pink slime ingot. And we needed how many of those to create? Y'all remember what we were doing, right? Don't you? The black hole storage unit? It seems like so long ago. Oh, I'm sorry, the control unit. We need two of these. So we need another two buckets of pink slime, which means we need to kill another huge swath. Again, great word right there. Huge swath. I'm sure I'm using it incorrectly, but a huge swath of chickens need now die. All right, so we've got more than enough now. Can I not just right click with the... I think what you have to do is you have to have a single bucket, hold it up there, and then right click it. There we go. And then all we have to do is walk up here and right click these into the machine, add another piece of iron, and it does it nearly instantly, which is great. We can finally now start focusing on building the black hole. Oh, of course, of course, we have to build another one of these first. And I wouldn't be surprised if we were missing something else. Of course, the ender per chest and the stack of diamonds in a block shape. In what goes into one of these? It's just an eye of ender and obsidian. 
Who would have guessed? I am singing a song that means nothing at all, but it's fun for me to sing it to you. There it is. And that's a lot of slots. Hold the phone. I thought something... Wait a minute. What do you do? It can hold nine black hole units and access its items. We got a storage upgrade for storage drawers. Convenient, all things considered. But wait a minute. This looks like more than nine to me. We need to make some black hole units so that I can see if I can sort this out. But first, we can make a tank immediately. And I do have some Eyes of Ender left over from a previous episode. So everything we need for the tank is just another simple machine chassis, some buckets, mostly things I have in my inventory, and that will wrap that up. I don't think you can put tanks in here, because how would that work? It's, it's sort of item-based, isn't it, this black hole controller? In my mind, and I could be wrong, but what I think this is for is for hooking this up to something like an ME network, where you can have nine, allegedly, storage... Uh, black hole storage units, or black hole units in here, and it can access them all, but we'll see about that. We have lock inventories, input items, output items. Ah, so the black hole units go in the middle, and then you can input items into them and export items from them. So this is for automation, I guess for hooking it up with things like uh, item conduits and whatnot. I, might, I still believe in my theory, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, I'm down here getting some more grains of infinity because I think I know how I want to wrap up this episode, and it's going to require that we get some more black hole units. And again, there are other recipes available, but this is the one we're going with for some reason. I think we'll probably do storage drawers in a separate episode because I kind of, I kind of, we've been recording for 40 minutes now, and I reckon what I have planned is going to take maybe another 20 to 30 and, and that'll be a good solid hour of content for me to condense down in the editing process, which is always fun, trying to figure out what needs to be left in and what bits of me yammering about nonsense can be cut out. I think two black hole units ought to work for what we're doing today. We'll combine those, not with the tank. I don't know if we'll ever use the tank. It just holds a lot of a, a, a single type of fluid, is what I'm guessing. Oh, and by the way, that wraps this up. How did we do? Uh, boom. That's how many millibuckets. Oh, we got a, we got a birthday pickaxe. Wow. Who would have guessed? I guess we didn't need to make one previously. Good reward, though, I suppose. And, uh, it, by, by the way, it showed right there how much fluid it can hold. That's a big number. 2,147,483,647 millibuckets of one type of fluid. So, if you ever need to hold a bunch of things, or you can get a gargantuan drum. I've got many of them. They are stored in various locations. I don't remember where. I haven't lost them. This one's full of water, which I didn't realize previously. It's completely full, it looks like. And it only holds 65 million. So, but that might be buckets, not millibuckets. I'm not sure. Uh, we also have just an empty one here. I do what you want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take our black hole controller and slap it on top of our farming station, which as you can see... The output is full, and that's a problem. I'm then going to add two black hole units, and I'm going to tell the farming station to... Let's see, configure, and up on the top here, tell it to push. So you do that by just right-clicking, and it should start to push its output up into here. Maybe, maybe not. Do I need to program it manually? Well, hold on then. Let me get some wheat and tell it to... Hey, put wheat in. Right there. Oh. I guess. Yes. Did it work? Theoretically. I don't know. Do we need to do the same thing with seeds? So let's tell it seeds here. Again, I guess it worked. It doesn't tell me how many are in there. Oh, yeah, it does. Look, item wheat amount 189. And then... Item seeds amount 109. So it should now automatically export all of that into the black hole controller. And I can probably transfer everything that I've already got into there too. I wonder if I can just like right click it in there or shift right click it in there. Doesn't appear to. Oh, I can shift click it though into there once. Yeah, okay. So we should now have 700. 
Okay, good. This is working. Again, shift click, it transfers it all, drops it into the correct one. You can't accidentally shift click anything in there because there's no black hole units to, con uh, to hold them. So we now have access to, look at this. This is so good. We can take some out, we can take some out, we can shift click it back in there. This will never fill up again. I don't think we'll ever max out a couple of black hole units on seeds and wheat. And I never have to worry about finding a place to store seeds either. So while I am sure many of you could come up with better uses for the black hole controller, this is the one I'll be using. It'll come in handy when we're doing more farming, because you can do both input and output. We could use it to control the... Uh, export from a lot of different farming stations if we wanted to. We could have it output bone mill to all the different machines if we wanted to. Oh my gosh, there's an idea. Do I have? I'm currently breeding bone mill chickens, I think. I don't think I have them maxed out yet. Or maybe I do? But we could take a bone mill chicken, a couple of maxed out bone mill chickens, and have them constantly produce bone mill, and have that automatically pumped into a farming station. Uh, so what we could do is we could put the chicken in a roost, have it pump into a, well, it doesn't need to pump into a black hole unit, but we could, and then have from that one black hole unit automatically distribute to a whole bunch of farming stations. It's an idea. It's an idea. We could also just have the chicken directly output to the farm stations, bringing into question why we would need the black hole units, but hey, use your imagination, uh, you know, make, make the setups the way you want them to be. YOLO and all that stuff. We're going to go ahead and close it here. We'll come back next time and we will do the storage drawers. I have a completely separate idea for those. And then if we have time, we'll touch on the storage crates before finally moving into this scary stuff. And, uh, oh, yeah, I need to 100% chickens. Vegan and wholesale ch Okay, we'll get around to this. Okay, until next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless you and I'll see you later. Bye!